Tilak. Welcome back to VBCS tutorial. What are we going to look today? Okay, today we are going to see how do, how you can download that 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 table data into an Excel sheet. Okay, now if you are if you are downloading it, entering here, the X, it will create an Excel sheet. Okay, the data. This is how the data is going to appear. The Excel sheet basically appearing whatever in the source name, source name, whatever is you are seeing it in the uh, uh, what's it called that uh, table that will appear here because action does not have information. There's no information, so you can go and hide whatever you don't want to. You can hide the action and uh, like you know you can uh, download it. Like you are looking at that here again. You will not get the action here. Okay. Now we are not going to look at the how to download and uh, like you know, how to uh, hide the part that I'll take it as a different uh, tutorial. Today, what we are going to see is how we can download the Excel sheet. Okay. Now let's see. We'll get into this code. Okay. Now the first thing is now I'm going to run the, the application again where you don't you may not see anything. Okay, there is no download or anything. Now let's see. Okay, now first we write a function that basically allow you to download the uh, download functionality. We'll write that. Okay. Okay. Now first of all, we have to. This is basically the download is coming from uh, sheet JS sheet JS. I believe that. What is that called? Uh, it is called, uh, yeah, uh, CJ is the one which is giving you uh, that, the download. So we have to get that. Now, how do we get it? We download that, like, you know, the part will do that. This is already part of that for VBCS. So, okay. Now, this gives you the access to that functionality of the CJS. Now, let me write. And uh, like you know, and copy the code and paste it here. Oh, then I tell you, okay. Now I'm writing a function which is called I'm calling download XLS. I'm giving a parameter. The parameter can be anything like you know. Uh, this is basically uh, I'm passing the table ID. Okay. Now it is going to get the table ID by like you know. I can say that table ID. I can call that. I can call the table ID here. Then I can call it table ID. The table ID will be basically it is getting the element and it is getting uh, creating a sheet from that like an Excel. It is creating a sheet. In the sheet, it is basically writing all this stuff. The, the, okay, the name is also hard coded here. You can pass it as one more parameter. You can use it. The, that you can do the way, way you want to implement it. Here, the, for the example, I am hard coding that Excel sheet as a my sheet. Okay. The sheet is called sheet one, or you can call it my sheet. There's no problem with that also. My sheet, you can call it. Okay. Okay. This is what is creating a sheet. And then basically, like you now with that whatever that uh, the data, then that sheet will be added into the Excel file. That's all. They're very simple. Okay. Now I'm going back to the designer. Now I'm going to create a download button. Like here, I'm going to create a button within that context, whatever that the display part. You can have a different button. That is no problem here. Okay, now if you are looking for the display option, there is something called export that is coming from the collection container. Okay, okay, that is on now. Now I can go to the event. Can have one more event that is the export event. So basically, whenever you click that button on, the the event will be executed. I am calling a function here. Okay, the function is basically download, which need a parameter table ID. What is the table ID? I come back to the but here I see what is the ID is here. Okay, this is the ID is used in the table here. Now I go back to action. I am assigning that value to the table ID, which is the table. Okay, now let me run this part. Oh, 
Okay, there's something is not right with the function. Uh, I don't know. Source. You can look at the source. Okay, two. Did I say? Okay, there's a, some problem with the function. Okay. All right, let me go up here. I go to the JavaScript. Fake model is right here. Let me model the table ID. Table ID is there. XLX use checked. I don't see anything wrong. Yeah, you should create module. Return let's, let's. Let me take a function that the other function I used. This is a working function. It's the same function, but I don't see why it's possible issue. Let me come back with that. Honestly. Sometimes it, it gets a, some kind of a, like, you know, Define XLX, this is XLX, same thing. There's also finally a base model is coming here, base model is coming here. Module is fine, STP, STP, I don't care about that. Sheet one, like now, okay. Now what I do here, I cut and paste that this is a working one, I know that. Sometimes when you are copying and pasting it from a place, it uh, like, you know, it put a, some kind of a character or something. And that's how it's me. Yeah. Okay, table ID, I changed it to table ID. Uh, this is not a general table ID. I put here my sheet. This is what we should, my sheet. Okay, my sheet. Okay, my sheet name, that's fine. This is, I got to, let me go to action, I make sure the parameter is passed pass properly. Yeah, pass properly. Okay, let me run it again. Looks like it is working. When you copy, because I copy the code, I kept the code somewhere in the uh, uh, or like you know a sheet that is what is causing the issue okay now when i'm downloading it here i go to the source you can look at the source here the code is coming here the page has cut up oh yes it's coming here i can like you know do that let me download so it is stopped here okay now it is coming here if you are looking at that that is downloaded the page is downloaded here Okay, now what is the limitation of this one? Let me kill that. The, the, this part is what happened in this downloading from that uh, style, that uh, table. So whatever is in the cache of the table, that is what is getting downloaded. It is not downloading all the data. So like if I case, in this case, if you are looking here, it has asked a very limited data. Now if I am like you know, going till the end of this one, I get all the rows into the table, then I download that, like, you know, I got all the table. Now, if you are looking at here again, what is happening? Yeah. If you are looking at the sheet six, if you are looking here, it has got all the data. So that is the limitation of this part. Anyway, we'll look at that in the idea. This is kind of a basically it allows you to download whatever you are having in the table cache. Okay. That's all for the day. Uh, we will look at that. We will look at the one more tutorial. We look at the how to implement this part and this part also will cut more differently. Till that, like you know, bye. Thank you.